microphone on. If people can take their seats, please. Your Excellencies, my friends, Your Majesty, uh, welcome to Melbourne. I begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the lands on which we meet, the Wiradjuri Wurrawong people, and I pay my respect to Elders past, present and emerging. I do want to acknowledge my co-chair, Prime Minister Sonsai. Australia and Laos are long-standing friends with a rich history of partnership, including the memorable visit to Australia by Prime Minister Sonse's father, then Prime Minister Kamtai Sipondon, almost 30 years ago. Prime Minister, I look forward to continuing your support uh, and your year as ASEAN Chair, promoting your chosen theme of enhancing connectivity and resilience. It is an honour to host all of the ASEAN leaders here in Melbourne as we mark 50 years of friendship between ASEAN and Australia. This is an opportunity to celebrate our successes and to affirm our shared belief in ASEAN centrality. The central role ASEAN plays in our region's prosperity, but also in our security. And to articulate our common vision for the next 50 years of our cooperation. To position ourselves and our partnership so we can seize and shape the opportunities transforming the region that all of us call home. To ensure that ours is indeed a partnership for the future anchored in enduring friendship and trust, and to see the ambition of our comprehensive strategic partnership realised in new, deeper and more diversified engagement with ASEAN, so that ASEAN and Australian consumers and businesses can access new products and new markets, so we can achieve net zero in a way that guarantees regional ed energy security underwrites national economic sovereignty and brings a new wave of clean energy trade and investment. We must work to turn our natural connections into even greater practical cooperation on marine sustainability, the blue economy and the security of our oceans and our seas. And our commitment to the future in the best traditions of ASEAN means encouraging and educating the next generation of emerging leaders. In all this, Australia commits to working with you to make sure the principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity, equality and independence are upheld. To ensure our region is secure, resilient, open, inclusive and prosperous. The regional architecture with ASEAN at its centre is vital in pursuing these goals and for promoting trust and transparency among our nations. Australia is fully committed to cooperating with you within the framework of ASEAN and through crucial bodies like the East Asia Summit and APEC. I hope that you leave Australia with a deeper understanding of Australia's commitment to our region and our optimism for its future. Our understanding that more than any other part of the world, Southeast Asia is where Australia's destiny lies. This is why we will continue to support your ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific and ensure the stability and peace of our region. Today's summit has four key themes which will shape the ASEAN-Australia partnership for the future. Trade and investment, climate and clean energy transition, maritime cooperation and emerging leadership. These four themes are also reflected throughout the Melbourne Declaration, which we will be adopting later today. 
This is the breadth of our agenda, the shared prosperity we can achieve through closer trade and investment, the shared opportunity we have to act on climate and embrace clean energy, the shared responsibility we have to deepen our maritime cooperation and our shared faith in our emerging leaders, and the engagement we have had leading into this summit across these four themes from business, from academics, from civil society, as well as from government, show how much potential there is for even stronger partnership between Australia and ASEAN. So let me again offer Australia's warm welcome to you all and our unwavering confidence in the next 50 years of the ASEAN-Australia partnership. I'd now like to invite Prime Minister Sonsai to deliver his opening remarks as co-chair. Thank you, Your Excellency, my co-chair. Your Excellency Anthony Albanese, Prime Minister of Australia, Your Majesty, Excellency, leaders of ASEAN and Timor-Leste, Secretary General of ASEAN. At the outset, it is with my great pleasure that I, in my capacity as the ASEAN Chair and the Country Coordinator for ASEAN-Australia Dialogue Relations, co-chair this special summit to commemorate the 50th anniversary of ASEAN-Australia Dialogue Relations. I extend my sincere appreciations to His Excellency Anthony Albanese, Prime Minister of Australia, for the warm welcome and hospitality extended to the ASEAN Lao delegation and the excellent arrangement made for this important summit. This year marks 57 year years of ASEAN establishment and 50 years of ASEAN-Australia dialogue relation. These numbers affirm that Australia is ASEAN's oldest and closest friend and its most long-standing and important dialogue partner. Australia has been engaging with ASEAN throughout its evolution since the inception of our dialogue relations in 1974. Over the years, ASEAN-Australia cooperations has consistently grown and broadened, covering a wide range of areas, including political security, economic and social cultural cooperation. This enduring partnership culminated in the elevation of our dialogue relations to a comprehensive strategic partnership in 2021. ASEAN greatly appreciate Australia's consistent support for ASEAN centrality, which contributes significantly to strengthening ASEAN community building process and to our shared goals of maintaining and promoting peace, stability and development of the region and beyond. ASEAN has a strong commitment and aspirations to further advance and deepen ASEAN-Australia cooperation in the coming years. Today's special summit offers an excellent opportunity for the leaders of ASEAN and Australia to commemorate the substantial achievements of ASEAN-Australia dialogue relations over the past five decades and to chart the course for even deeper relations in the next 50 years. I'm confident that the ASEAN Australia leaders' vision statement, partners for peace and prosperity, and the Melbourne declarations, a partner for future, which are set to be adopted later on at this meeting, will provide strategic and comprehensive guidance for the future enhancement of ASEAN Australia comprehensive strategic partnership in the next 50 years. This year, as the Lao PDR assumes the ASEAN chairmanship under the theme ASEAN, enhancing connectivity and resilience, we are confident that boasting ASEAN connectivity and resilience will significantly contribute to a more fruitful ASEAN-Australia comprehensive strategic partnership. I thank you. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Uh, I would now invite the ASEAN Secretary General to deliver his remarks. Your Excellency, Son Tsai Simfandon, Prime Minister of the Lao People's Democratic Republic, the Honourable Anthony, Anthony uh, Albanese, MP, Prime Minister of Australia, Your Majesty's Excellencies, as in Head of State and Government, Excellency Ministers, distinguished Delegates. At the outset, I would like to express our sincere appreciation to Lao PDR as the ASEAN Chair and Country Coordinator for ASEAN Australia Relations. As well as, as well as to Australia for organizing the special summit 
to commemorate the 50th anniversary of ASEAN-Australia dialogue relations. ASEAN and Australia have enjoyed a long-standing and mutually beneficial relationship for over five decades. Since its inception in 1974, the ASEAN-Australia partnership has evolved and developed significantly to cover a wide range of areas of cooperation. Australia has become an instrumental partner in support of ASEAN community building and integration. With the establishment of the Comprehensive Strategy Partnership in 2021, our cooperation has been further strengthened, including through the implementation of the ASEAN Australia Plan of Action 2020-2024 and its Annex to Advance the CSP. ASEAN Australia